practicing earlier today. So One minute. Scenario there. Two mixed doubles. Fezra and Federer. And well, Pat Rafters joined us from the Slammers bench. Pat, just tell us uh, a little bit about this reception here today and, and being a part of that. It's loud. I wanted to film it, but we get problems with filming. <laughs> it's one court with our, with our phone, so I didn't want to film it and just sort of show them back home how it is. And tell us a little bit about how nice it is to then step out there on court and play as well as you did against a 14-time Grand Slam champion. Yeah, I did play well. I mean, obviously, uh, Pete was very, very sluggish and he, he uh, struggled with this court. It's a tricky court to play on. And uh, I actually served really well. I mean, I'm probably, uh, we, we spoke in the gym yesterday afternoon. Let me just pause you there for one sec. I want to do some random shout outs to some of my recent subscribers. So Stuart Alexander, Alvaro M, Vipul Mystery, and Ronade Khan, a big, big thank you. Thank you for subscribing. If you would like to get mentioned in my next video shout out, just subscribe now and hit the notification button below. Oh, and also, Keep an eye out for some random free Amazon gift card giveaways for my subscribers. Yeah, free giveaways. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, enough from me. Back to the tennis. You've just got a third body, and that's all I'm going to do for the next four matches. But I think you've played well in the vast majority of your sort of singles matches since perhaps the first one, but some of your opponents have played lights out, haven't they? I felt that way, but I just maybe think that I'm just beyond this game. You know, maybe these, these old guys are just far too good for me now. That's the way I start feeling. And Pat, tell me what it's like when you come from a big federation like, uh, you know, Tennis Australia. You've got so much money at your disposal. How do you find that balance between trying to give the players uh, enough financial aid but not give them too much at the same time trying to help with that and maybe even even to an extent the usca mm -hmm. the um the one country that has done it well though has lots of money as a thing so you know you look at that model and go well they're, they're probably provided their players with a lot of opportunity yes, I, i'm a big believer in, in working hard for your money investing hard within your money uh, and so if you're going to spend that money you better make sure it's the right person and, and i want those people to um to really be aware of that well, Pat, uh, good luck with all of it. I hope it goes really well. I think Tennis Australia are really blessed to have somebody like yourself here in such an important position. Ah, uh, you're a good man, Bobby. Enjoy it, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, Pat. See you. And in the aces. Well, that's a, a good start by the Macamax Indian aces. Federer was let off the hook on the commencement point there when he served the let, turned his back, and forgot that uh, no lets in this particular format. But uh, Sanya is keeping him honest. And they're having a lot of fun out there. Too I mean, he played so well over the course of the year, didn't he? He was so instrumental in bringing Switzerland to the Davis Cup final. Let me take care of that, he says to Sanya. And of course, only fitting that I guess he won the deciding match there in Lille. Good hands. Oh, yes! Magnificent tennis from the Micah Max Indian. And that guy would know a thing or two about some deft touch. Sunil Gavaskar appreciating everything that Mirza did there. Just turning that one down to third man. It's a shame. Well, she's played some inspired tennis throughout the competition. Gavaskar. He averaged uh, over 50, didn't he, in the test cricket? That's not bad. And uh, it's all check. Chats in terms of <laughs> he's so quick and moving. Didn't touch the net there, did he? Fifteen. 
don't think the umpire's allowed to call a touch if it's better, is he? I mean, look at his court position. Goes at the very last minute. Such explosive movement. You see the footwork there. He's on his toes all the time. They did a lot of crossing in the Davis Cup doubles, didn't they? Played really well. Yep. Bit of eye formation here. And if you make Roger get down on his knees, there's no double faulting. That uh, will be a first yellow for Sanya. It's a one-horse race, Jason. I'm sorry to say. I think Sanya's got to more followers and fans uh, than the entire Swiss population. Yeah, it's uh, hard sometimes for us to comprehend coming from Europe just how big India is and how huge their sporting superstars become. And there are so few women as well that have excelled at the highest level like Sanya. Again, a bit of eye formation. Touch. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's to be a, a relief one. Ladies and gentlemen, Federer seems to be striking the ball very well. on the forehand is what Rogers got. Hit it and keep coming forward. Thirty fifteen. Yeah. Oh, surely carry on something to go to Mirza there yeah, with the first is. shot of the rally. Had to go over looked a little nervy. Here the so the substitution doesn't really work for the Slammers. It's the Micromax Indian Aces who were just at Sonia Shrunk by next to the Australian. That's not bad. <laughs> and we did get that on audio for you, Sonia. So uh, is that a binding contract? 100%. This is uh, very much a new experience for Rogers. It's always nice to uh, come with him, experience that together. Oh, yes, wonderful feel. And of course, Rogers' father loves his talents. Be interesting to get his opinion on what he thinks of the format and the competition overall. He is a, a real tennis aficionado, isn't he? And he doesn't only watch Rogers matches. That's the nice thing about Robbie. He watches a lot of the other. Very strong in his legs is Federer. Didn't take him long, did it? Nice warm down. 
Comfortable win in the mixed doubles then for the home team. <laughs> Mac Max Indian Aces. And they've turned things around nicely now. They lead eight right. games to right. six. Sanya, could you introduce us to your new mixed doubles partner? Yeah, um, yeah, he just asked me to play Australian Open with him. <laughs> We're going to look forward to seeing that on Rod Laver Arena. Roger, welcome to Delhi. Welcome to India. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, very special to be here. Uh, incredible stadium, great fans. Uh, I've always wanted to come play tennis here, so I'm happy this is the moment. Thank you, guys. You've heard about it, you've talked to the other players. What was the feeling like when you walked out here onto this court? Special, great ovation, and I really appreciate it. Uh, it's why you, you train hard for, and it's why you, I love this game, for playing in arenas like this around the world, and uh, thanks for the special reception today. It was special. Before I let you go, when was the last time you played mixed doubles? It's been a while. Um, I remember playing with... I, th I think I played three times with Martina Hingis, Martina Navratilova, and my wife. So, it's, uh, and now Sanya. So we've done really well. They've been blessed to have a great partner. Roger, Sanya, well done. Thank you. Thank you.